Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, PaintballProps.com, and EscapeRoomElectronics.com. This video will serve as the video manual for the 42-digit SBI keypad for Arduino, uh, my, my most recent Kickstarter campaign. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the connections for two different pieces of included software. The software um, included is completely commented. So what we're going to do is we'll talk about the basic connections for uh, SPI communication between the keypad and your Arduino. So while you can't see it right now, we'll get to in just a minute. Right now we've got five connections between the uh, the keypad and the Arduino. From the right to the left, we've got five volts, or sorry, ground, five volts, S clock, um, SDO, and CS. Uh, SDO is data, SCK is S clock, and CS is chip select, GD is ground, and 5 volts is 5 volts. So we're going to want to connect ground to one of the uh, ground lines right here, 5 volts to the 5 volt line of your Arduino, S clock we want to connect to GPIO 13, uh, SDO we want to connect to GPIO 11 of your Arduino, and uh, CS chip select we want to connect to pin 10. Now for the second piece of software that we'll be uh, covering, we'll want to include one more pin from the keypad to the Arduino, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's quickly have a look at the uh, diagram so you can have a better look at uh, everything on the keypad. Just to quickly go over everything, the connection header is on the upper right. We've got GD, which is ground, 5 volts, um, S clock for uh, SPI clock. SDO for uh, uh, SPI data out, CS chip select, in we are not using, out we use for combination lock mode, and LED. And LED is just the logic that you see on the LED labeled uh, SD, SD being send. On the upper left we've got the program select, program B is combination lock mode, and Program A is SPI communication mode between the board and your Arduino Uno. In Program B, we use the out pin and connect it to GPIO 8 of the Arduino Uno. In Program A, we do not use the out pin. And as you can see, all of the buttons are labeled A through Z, 0 through 9, and then space, number, save, clear, load, and enter. So with this configuration, assuming you have the software number one loaded onto your Arduino Uno. All you have to do is plug this into your computer, open your serial monitor, and you'll be able to type out uh, A to Z, 0 to through 9, and commands such as space, number, save, clear, load, and enter. Once plugged in and you enter in and you uh, turn on your serial prompt, it automatically says 42 digit Arduino keypad. So I'm just going to type out all the letters really quickly. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here uh, I can press space, which is the next command, and I'll just press the number sign. So as you can see, there was a space between 9 and the number sign. And if I press save, it says save. If I press clear, it says clear. If I press load, it says load. And if I press enter, it should take me to the second line. So I'll just press AAA. So as you can see, second line. So very simple. In the code, you can manipulate the code sample so that when you press certain buttons, different things happen. But this is just the basic code and getting you and getting you started on uh, interfacing your keypad with your Arduino lickety split. So now let's talk about the combination lock. Now for strictly SPI communication between the keypad and the Arduino Uno, we want to have this jumper set to the left to program A. Now I know you can't see it on the board, but PRGA is to the left, PRGB is to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power down and I'm going to change the jumper setting to program B. So at this point, I'm going to restart, power down, 
and power back up. So now the keypad is functional again, it's powered, and we're in combination lock mode. So we're not going to worry about the uh, SPI information to the Arduino Uno. We want to uh, enter in a special combination. And uh, this com four digit combination is going to be uh, it's going to be uh, our combination lock keep uh, combination. And that can it can use you can use numbers, you can use letters, you can use letters and numbers and even commands. But to get into the combination entry mode, we have to enter in PRG number sign. So to do that, let's just find P P R G number sign. And then I'm going to enter in uh, a combination A, B, C, D. And now our code is programmed. And it's actually programmed into EEPROM memory. So even when I power down and I'm in program B, that code will be saved. So just to show you, I'm going to power down. Wait a second, and I'll power back up. Now I'm, I'm still in program B. Let's just enter in a, an incorrect combination. Just a couple flashes indicating an incorrect combination. But if I enter in A, B, C, and D, correct combination. And we can use the signal on the out pin to connect to our uh, Arduino Uno. Now, I have written a basic, uh, a basic code here that I plug uh, the out pin to GPIO 8 on the Arduino Uno, and that communicates with it saying, and it, you'll be able to see the serial prompt say incorrect combination or correct combination, depending on the logic coming from the out pin. So I'm going to connect out to pin 8, and we'll have a look at the serial prompt. With the out pin connected to GPIO 8 of the Arduino Uno, we can now upload the software 2. Now in software 2, GPIO 7 of the Arduino Uno can be used to activate an active low relay board. Now since the Kickstarter didn't come with a relay board, uh, I'm not going to be covering that, but it's in the code and it's commented so you can see. But just to give you an idea, I've got an active low relay board right here. And it's got three pins on it, VCC, in, and ground. And now VCC is for your power supply line, five volts, GND is your ground line. You'd connect VCC to the 5 volt line on your Arduino Uno, GND to another ground line on your Arduino Uno, and the in pin you'd connect to GPIO 7. And active low means that when uh, 0 volts is, uh, is connected to the in pin, uh, the relay is activated. And when 5 volts is connected to the in pin, uh, the relay is off. It's a little bit, uh, it's, it's reverse of what you'd expect of a relay board, but it doesn't really matter. Active high or active low relay boards, they still work the same. So if you have your own relay board, it's active low, connected to your Arduino Uno if you'd like, with this code, software 2. And if you have an active uh, high relay board, where when 5 volts is connected to the in pin, uh, the relay is on. When 0 volts is connected to the in pin, the relay is off. You just need to change the software. Uh, in software too, and it's very easy to do. You just have to change the high to low and the low to high for the digital write to GPIO 7. Uh, in any case, let's look at the serial monitor. I'll enter in a few incorrect codes, and then we'll enter in the correct code of A, B, C, D, and you'll see what happens on the serial prompt. As soon as you open the serial monitor, it says 42 digit Arduino keypad. If you want to edit that, it's easy to do. If you want to delete that, it's easy to do. So I'm going to enter in a couple incorrect combinations. Incorrect combination. Let's do another one. Incorrect combination. Now if I type in A, B, C, D. Correct combination received. Relay on. So, uh, any incorrect combination, I'll just enter in another one. The relay turns off. Automatically. But when you enter in the correct combination, the relay turns on or GPIO 7 is cleared to 0 volts. So right now, GP, uh, GPIO 7 on the Arduino Uno is 0 volts. Now GPIO 7 is at 5 volts. So that's that. So that's it. There's 
two sample pieces of software, you can edit them, you can change them if you'd like. You don't need to use the serial monitor uh, to communicate. You can connect a 1602A LCD to your Arduino Uno and you can uh, communicate with the LCD from the keypad. It's, uh, it's that easy. Um, if you haven't used an LCD before, there are several different configurations and several different LCDs available for the uh, Arduino Uno. And if you want to save uh, GPIO pins, you can find one of the I squared C um, LCDs to make the to to save pins to save connections on your Arduino. But it's very easy. You just need to change the software that comes with this uh, Kickstarter campaign. So what'll happen is I'll be send I'll be creating a project page and it'll have software one, which just depicts how to uh, communicate with your serial prompt with the keypad, and program two, which is your combination lock. Uh, code. Everything will be fully commented. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you uh, I hope you uh, enjoy your Kickstarter rewards. Uh, for the simplicity of this guy, it's definitely worth it to have a portable keypad going along with your projects, one that you don't need to be sitting at your computer to use. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, check us out at engineeringshot.com, paintballprops.com, and escaperoomelectronics.com. Have a great day, everyone.